Hey everybody, Eli here from Eli's Engines. I thought I'd give you a quick run through of what I'm doing on my Alice 190 XT's hydraulic pump. So the uh, previous owner told me that the pump was not working, so I tore it apart and I think it just lost prime. He, par he said he parked it right after it went out. So uh, how this works is there's plates in between each section and then each section kind of looks somewhat like this. It has no bearings and then uh, a couple little gaskets and then the o-ring right there and a flat cover that goes kind of over that and works as a wear plate. So let's go over that like that. So then I got, here's my last gasket. Each of these has one of these. So you put a little, you have a little rubber one. Then you have a more like harder one. A brittle one, more higher pressure that goes right there. And before you put this in, I'm actually replacing the O-rings because they were really rotted out and not very good anymore. So I have a new O-ring right there. And then this, there's the old one. Right there, you can see the back spark. So this goes bigger hole on the bottom, just like that, smaller on the top. Just like that, and you get it sort of clipped in. And then you get it set up. Ruby, just, get. You know, it right in so these pegs are alignment. And then you kind of try to just get this in like that. And this one's a little sticky, but then I'll take a clamp. Well, you can do that. Yeah, and you just cl basically clamp it. These pegs are tight, so you just basically clamp it. Make sure that everything's aligned first to make sure you're not going to do anything, and then you just kind of clamp it together. And then put the bolts back on. Yep. This has to eventually go on, too, I assume. This is the front part. Yep, this supplies the oil. There's the inlet, and then it has a little outlet there for... So then you got the rest of these. There's a couple O-rings, and then some front seals, and then the bolts for it. I see. So you had them all organized where you had yeah. all these different trays yeah. for each of the different sections so you don't use the gaskets up or the wear plates. It's got a spline shaft. Comes out the front, that hooks onto a timing gear in the engine. It's a power, it's a pump. And the shaft that I took out is right up here. That Alex 90. Come on. So it is pump is right up on the front right here. So there's where the splines are cooked in. And there's your supply oil, and then a couple Hold on, you got it. little I lines in that. there. Where does the oil come up from? Right in there. The pump yeah. will, you'll prime it and get oil in there, and there has a couple lines up here and a bunch of stuff there. So that's where the hydraulic pump goes. Then I tore off the hood and the side panels and a lot of the sheet metal on it. Where's so that at? That's over there behind it. Oh, you took the loader off too, you forgot. So here's a bunch of the parts. Yep. And it's an Alice 190 XT, you said, right? Yeah, XT gas. There it is. So, runs, but just doing a little bit of maintenance and coming out of Illinois. So, how many horsepower on it? Uh, around 104 is what they were rated for. What's PTO? Like 94, 95. Yeah, it's got some pretty nice, pretty nice big front tires on it. Yeah. All right, anything else you want to mention on this hydraulic pump rebuild? Well, this thing also has underneath it. Uh, this one that supplies oil, but actually has a separate oil cooler right under it. So you have to uh, disconnect a bolt in the oil pan, like right that holds one of the oil pan holding bolts, and then you gotta loosen all the clamps for all the rubber little things on it, and then it just kind of pops right, comes right slides out. out. Yep. And what year do you think this is, or did you this look at it? This one's a later one. It has a series three. 
why the axe was in the back. So I don't know what year it is exact, but it's a much later one. It has a series three and then. Because this is what? Three inch wide? Yeah, three and a quarter versus the two and three quarters on the standard. And this one has an extra. It has a bigger than a live set up for running like a loader joystick, so an inlet and an output. So you can uh, hook it to a joystick and stuff to run on a loader. One of my other ones had that, but. Nice. Because this is number, what? The fourth. fourth one or fifth one you've been working fourth, on? The yeah. 190s? Yes. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Well, that's about it, isn't it? Yep. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Talk Give me a thumbs up. That's yep. what we say. Give me a thumbs up. Yep.